Peace, energy, and love to the universal family. It's the guy that saw him and raw back at you. Yeah, you know I man. Man, it's been a minute since I did one of these videos. You know what I'm saying? Since I did a blog or whatever, whatever. But uh, I stumbled across something on the internet, man, that really, really, you know, it really got to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was something that uh, a rapper spoke on. You know. And uh, he's actually, he was one of my, you know, favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, I used to listen to him. You know, I ain't listened to LinkedIn with him lately. You know what I'm saying? They hear what he said. I might have heard a couple freestyles here and there. But uh, for the most part, you know, I came up on him. You know what I'm saying? Being from the South or whatnot, I came up on, you know, the Goody Mobs, the Outcasts, you know, your Killer Mics and... You know, guys like that, you know what I mean? But then, you know, I come across a video on YouTube where Killer Mike says that we as a people, we're not ready for the revolution. You know, and that statement right there, you know, it really got to me because it's like these athletes, these entertainers, these musicians... I mean, I had to come to the conclusion that even the uh, so-called conscious rappers, you know, I had to come to the conclusion that these people got their head so far up white supremacy's ass that they don't have no understanding of what's going on, you know. They're not for the people, man. These folks are pushing white supremacy, you know what I'm saying, knowingly or unknowingly, and they are detriment to our people, man, you know, so, uh, you know, that's really got to me, you know, in a line of everything was going on, you know, the last few years, you know, being that uh, social media got real big, everybody gets the chance to add on to the topic, you know, whatever the topic might be, you know, and, um, you know, it really exposed a lot of these people, man. A lot of these people who I supported for years and um, who I felt like, uh, you know, I put up on a pedestal, you know, due to their music or maybe some of their movies or their uh, athletic ability, you know. I had to come to a, a conclusion that uh, most of these guys are lost in the sauce, man. You know, for lack of a better term, man. But uh, I just wanted to add on with that. You know, it's the guy that saw Amin Ra. I hope everybody have a blessed day. You know, it's early. I'm about to get up, get my day going, you know. And, uh, you know, energy and love, man. Peace and blessings.